hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how i got this super super pretty black barbie install like this whole look was just given y'all okay so the first thing i'm going to be doing is fitting the wig to my client's head and i'm making sure that her part is centered because this is a t-part wig so if you know what a t-part wig is that means literally you have like no parting space to do anything so i need to make sure that her middle part is centered because once that bad boy is glued down i do not have the versatility to be able to switch the part or you know fix anything so i'm making sure that that wig is centered and then after that i'm just gonna go and cut off her ear tabs i know a lot of people like to do this after they started to you know apply the glue down but i like to do it beforehand just to avoid any um complications or anything like that so once i have everything situated i'm going to cut off her ear tabs and then i'm going to begin um laying the wig down now this will not be a, um like an in-depth tutorial where i show you like the braid down the ball cap and everything like that but if you guys do want to see like a full in-depth like client um tutorial let me know down in the comments below and i will bring you more content like that so i'm just gonna let you guys continue to watch and then i'll come back when things get spicy Alright you guys, so once I have everything fitted, I'm cleaning my client's skin um, and her hairline with some 91% alcohol. You can use 70% um, if you don't want to use, you know, 91 because you feel like it's too harsh. But after I did that, I did use the Erica J Skin Protectant because I am using her glue, which I love, love, love so much. And I believe I used four layers. I don't think I showed all four layers in the um, video because it's a bit repetitive, but... When you are laying down your glue, um, you want to make sure that your layers are evenly spread um, because that just helps it dry, you know, seamlessly. And you don't want to have like some patches that are dry and then some patches that are white because then you're not going to know whether it's, you know, safe to lay the wig down. So make sure your layers are evenly um, spread and thin so that you can have a nice, you know, even coat when you go to lay down your wig. So that is pretty much all I'm going to be doing. And as you can see, like I, I start pretty much almost from the middle of her head. So I do pretty much like two sections, but I do lay the wig down all at once pretty much. So you guys will see that in the video.
All right, you guys, so once the glue is dry and clear enough to my liking, I'm going to take that lace and press it down into um, the glue. And I'm going to have my client hold one end of the wig. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and just press it in, um, press the lace into the glue. And then I'm going to take my blow dryer on a warm setting and blow dry um, that hairline because I noticed it makes a big difference when doing this because at first I wasn't, you know, using my blow dry. I would just press the lace into the glue and then use an elastic band, but the blow dryer makes a huge, huge difference. Now, like I said, this is not an in-depth tutorial, so I didn't um, show me doing her baby hairs and curling the hair. Um, but if you guys want that, I definitely will make that content for you. So I'm just using some cream concealer to clean up her part. And then I'm going to add some um, oil sheen. And then I'm going to just comb that into place. And then I'm going to be using my hot comb just to make sure all those flyaways are really, you know, gone. Okay, flyaway be gone. So I'm just using my hot comb, which is from Kendra's Boutique. Which is so crazy because it matches the whole aesthetic of this um, video. Um, pink wig, pink bedazzled hot comb. And also, you know, if you can see in the back, my um, wall is pink. So it just matches the whole aesthetic. <laughs> so I'm just going to um, hot comb the top of my client's hair before I begin, you know, combing out her curls. And before I take off her elastic band. It's a really good ass scalp.
with you guys so we are all finished um i'm just taking some videos and pictures for instagram now like i mentioned earlier this video wasn't supposed to be like an in-depth tutorial because this is a part of my client series videos that i will be doing and also i will be starting a day in a life of a hairstylist series on my channel as well so if you enjoyed this content let me know down in the comments below and also let me know if you want more content like this but you want it to be like in-depth tutorials also let me know that um down in the comments below but don't forget to like comment subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one bye